Sometimes what we think is a problem isn't always a problem. Sometimes a thing that is stressing us out, and we don't know how it's going to turn out, what the outcome is going to be. Sometimes these things are actually blessings in disguise. I have two examples of things that have happened in my life. Uh, one of them recently that led to actually be a blessing in disguise. Something bigger and better than I could ever imagine. Something that I have been wanting and manifesting. And through these things that I thought was an issue, thought that was a problem, they actually led to these bigger blessings. One being the place I lived before the place I'm currently at right now. My landlord was being a piece of shit and decided to kick me out. He was uh, renovating the place while we lived there just so he could kick us out to have people move in and he could charge more money. Where here in Canada, at least in Ontario, that's not allowed. That is against law. But you know, I wasn't going to argue, be a nuisance. I'm like, whatever, man, I'll figure it out like I always do in life. Even though what you're doing is a disservice, is scummy, is bad, whatever, man. It is what it is, a roll with the punches, and I'll figure it out. And I can't lie, I was stressed. I was like, damn, where am I going to live? Where am I going to stay? And I was looking and looking, and as you may know, the housing market is just ridiculous. Renting market is ridiculous. Everything is very expensive, very pricey. And at the same time, I was really over living with people. Because that house, for instance, I had to put up with a lot of bullshit through other people and just through growing up, living with randoms. It's not always the best. And so here I am, 26, and I'm like, man, I'm just really over living with people. I want to get my own place, a place to call my own where I can come home to and the vibes are just right. It's just peaceful, tranquil. So I was stressing, worrying, wondering where am I going to stay, being like, oh, damn, if I don't find a place by my due date, you know, Hitting up some homies, hey, if I have to, can I stay on your couch until I find a place? Worrying how am I going to afford a place? Do I have enough money to afford a place? But guess what? That was actually a blessing in disguise. Because due to him being scummy, doing that, it led me to finding the place I'm currently at now. And I love every single thing about this place. It's a bachelor apartment. From the size, to the price, to the area. When I tell friends and people close to me the price and how much I pay for my bachelor apartment, they're like, holy shit, bro. Like, that's unheard of, especially in the area. This area is beautiful, gorgeous, and it's crazy. I didn't even know this area existed. I've never been to this area until I moved into my house. This perfect example it just goes to show that this thing that I was so worried, so caught up in, so stressing over was actually a huge blessing in disguise. And sometimes you just have to get out of your way, get out of God's way, get out of the universe's way and let the magic happen. Have faith, because if you stress too much, you are now vibrating on a lower frequency. You're not in a place of abundance and belief and faith and love, but you're rather you're in a place of stress and worrying. So when you're able to keep the belief, hold on to that faith in these times, stay resonating on a high frequency of abundance, gratitude, love, these things are able to come in. And when you see them, you're able to act accordingly to secure them. And that's exactly what I did with this place now. In the moment, I couldn't see the blessings around the corner. I was too clouded by the smoke on the mirror, the stress to see the blessings that the most high, the divine God was trying to do for me. These miracles he was working in my life. I just had, like I said, had to get out of the way. Another example that actually happened two days ago, really recently. I broke my phone. It was sitting on a ledge while I was at work at Zoomies. I accidentally knocked it off the ledge, hit the ground, boom, the screen don't work no more. It shit the bed. I was like, fuck, bro, this is horrible timing. I'm going to Montreal later this week, uh, leaving on Friday, and I have money saved up for the Montreal trip. I'm getting two tattoos, which if you know, good tattoos ain't cheap. So I got money saved up for that, some money for food, etc. But other than that, I really don't have much money to spare at the moment. So my phone broke. I was like, are you shitting me? I need a phone. I can't go without a phone. At least that's what we tell ourselves. I know for a fact we could. But I was like, I need a phone, especially for Montreal. I plan on vlogging the trip, capturing the footage, capturing the weekend with the boys. What am I going to do? But just like last story and the point of this video, it was actually a blessing in disguise. I went to my service provider. They couldn't really do shit. I was like, man, I ain't trying to 
pay a down payment for a new phone. I didn't even plan on getting a new phone. And to be honest, it's kind of jokes because I only have two months left until this phone was completely paid off. And then I would have had a cheaper phone bill, which I was looking forward to having. But he pointed me to another direction, to this another story. He's like, yo, go check out this place, see what they say. So that's exactly what I did. And I was like, man, I told my situation. I was like, I ain't trying to put a down payment. I ain't even trying to get a new phone. I'm down to get the same phone I have. I'm just trying to spend the least amount of money as possible. Luckily, the blessings reigned in. I didn't stress out too much. I kept a level head, stayed cool, calm, and confident that things were going to work out in my favor. And that's exactly what they did. They actually worked out better than I could have ever imagined, which seems to be a reoccurring theme lately. Usually when you upgrade, you have to pay a fee. She's like, I'll waive that fee. You don't have to pay anything to upgrade. We can get you the same phone, zero down. She had to change my plan a little bit. So for instance, I was paying 55 bucks for 12 gigs, $5 more. You got to pay 60 bucks if you get 20 gigs. I'm like, okay. Plus I was paying my old phone that broke $25 a month on top of the 55. So I was paying 80 bucks. She's like, yo, you are gonna be paying 10 bucks to get the same phone. So new plan 60, phone is $10 a month. She's like, actually for the first year, I can cut the phone in half. You're only paying five bucks extra for the phone. So before tax, I'm only paying 65 bucks, which is cheaper than my old plan. And on top of that, I'm getting more data, almost double. It went from 12 gigs to 20, sick. Blessing in disguise. I was looking forward to a cheaper phone plan and guess what happened? I am now paying exactly that, a cheaper phone plan. Worked out better than I could have imagined, worked out in my favor. On top of that, I got a $300 gift card to spend in the store. So of course I get a better phone case, at least I swear this better be a better phone case. Screen protector, wireless earbuds, which I've never had, which I was already thinking about buying anyways. And so the fact that I got them for free was just even better. And while I was there, she was like, yo, doing her thing, try to secure them deals, you know, get them commissions, whatever she got to do, right? And I even hating on her because if she didn't mention this, this blessing would have happened. She mentions, yo, like, who you with for the internet? And I was like, man, I ain't trying to switch my internet provider. Like, I know what you're trying to do, you know? I respect the hustle. She was like, man, you can switch to Rogers, which is one gig speed, Ignite. Like, I believe it's like one of the fastest speeds um, for only 55 bucks a month. No contract for a whole year, it's only 55. Normally it's 120. So after the year, luckily I can opt out. There's no contract. But after the year, it goes up to the regular price of 120. And I'm like, man, I ain't trying to go switch my internet provider. But I was like, you know what? When I get home tonight, I'm gonna check how much I'm paying for internet and the speed and stuff and I'll get back to you. I checked. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm paying $75 for 150 megabyte speed. Way slower than one gig speed. $75, $20 more than what she was offering me and way slower. So the next day I worked, I go in there, I'm like, yo, yo. All right, you was right. I'm overpaying for shit speed. Hook the boy up. So that's exactly what happened. So not only because of that, <laughs> my phone broke, I got free wireless earbuds, which I already was looking at getting, cheaper phone plan and a better phone plan, a brand new phone, same phone, but brand new and cheaper internet. So I'm actually saving more monthly and it's even higher speed, better connection. And that's what I'm saying. When, when these things happen and you stress in and you're like, oh shit, how is it going to play out? Keep that higher connection to the source, to the divine, to the God, to the creator, to the most high and have faith. Because this is just proof, man, shit worked out way better than I could have ever imagined for me finding this apartment and the area it's in. To me, getting my new phone. But yeah, sometimes you just got to get out of your way. Let the most high do its thing. And, you know, not worry too much. Because like I said, if you're worrying too much, you're going to be on that lower frequency. Stay the, in that abundance frequency and that gratitude frequency for these things can come in and the blessings can rain in. The blessings around the corner that you didn't even know were there. Yo, know, like always, I hope you guys got something out of this video. Stay blessed, don't stress. And these should be perfect examples of why you should stay blessed and don't stress. And get out there and attack the day. Make the day your bitch because you deserve it, man. Much love, guys. I'm out.